getting straight into it we're going to start with the options page uh pretty much there's a few mandatory ones here i think the minimap overall is the best you can play around with it realistic i think they just kind of get blurred in the background but i feel like this is the best for clarity also you can scale up the hit minimap hero size if you want i leave it 115 percent that's just nice for me uh other things in here smart double tap and teleport requires hold and stop are really really strong you want teleport requires hold and stop so if you don't accidentally right click and cancel your tp if you are panicking uh obviously double tap ability to self cast is really good as well auto select summon units i have this on the screen right now but i'll give you a quick rundown as to why this is bad on some heroes let's take peel for example and if we want to micro oh, we don't want that one we want uh we want the other facet Hopefully, I'm up right now. So, with Peel, you generally want to drag illusions out. Like, we'll just get some illusions. And you generally want to pull them out. Maybe to juke people for spells, right? It's very easy with this. Very easy with this uh, setting. But let's turn it with auto select summon units on. Let's do the same thing. And let's try and drag stuff out. Let's wait for a little bit more. Start dragging him out. But look. It's getting all those new illusions and automatically putting them into that control group. To the advanced section. Save his hero. Obviously, you just want to uh, have the summon units always hit what you're hitting. Definitely on PL and other Naga, this is a very nice one. Visage as well if you do a quick summon on the birds. But yeah. Display network information on the right is also really, really strong. So you don't have to fucking type whatever it is. Dash ping. Uh, over and over yeah this is pretty much just standard stuff this is all personal preference onto labs we have two mandatory ones this is uh interact only with non-hero units if you have a brood mother or a primal beast in the lane that is purposely sitting on the creeps to try and you know get him to hit you instead of the creeps this completely uh pretty much just destroys that strat that strat used to be really strong but now it is completely useless as long as you have this I would also have this turned off, so that means you hold this, and when you hold the F, you can only interact with the non-hero units. Also, really good if you're a support player for the allied units. I generally don't, so I haven't had a cot key for that, and I'm kind of running low on space. But um, these two, I think, are very, very strong, especially when you got, like, single target, like, I don't know, like, you know, line ulties and stuff, and there's creep waves and all that. These ones are really, really strong, even just, just any hero. Uh, persistent range indicator is another really really good one this one is what it happens is when you get an item let's just get blink for example and we alt we hold alt and we right click it it will then have the radius as you can see there's this permanent radius you can only have one ability selected but it will tell you always the radius this could be really good for you if you're not too like confident in your ranges of the blink and you always want like a permanent kind of like gauge of how far you can go so that's another really good one in labs the other one of these is not really it's really kind of just up to you kind of up to you you can play around with these maybe you'll like the overlay map where if you hold like say i hold j it comes up i really am not a big fan i just haven't really made it work for me and i'm pretty used to uh, looking at the mini map so yeah the next part coming up to the hotkeys uh the main thing i would recommend in here and if everything is enable quick cast if you're not playing a quick cast just start it i made the swap when i was like 4k of mr and i haven't looked back since my gameplay improved drastically it's gonna take a little bit to get used to if you're not playing a quick cast but my highly recommend it it's just gonna make your gameplay more fluid you're just gonna react faster do stuff faster once you get used to it uh, i also play it with key press down i think that's personally the best unless you're someone that's maybe used to holding the thing down and release it but i, I don't think that's the play uh, treat on key pass items also i haven't made the swap to it but i think items are definitely uh quick castable and maybe if you want to try both at once i would go for it maybe it's a bit of a drastic swap but i only just swapped my abilities and i haven't done the items yet but that is definitely uh something that could happen also i highly recommend for the neutral mouse wheel up there's a lot of neutrals right now like bull whip and stuff uh anything that has like you know you put something on the ground or a mobility or you react with the uh the stealth cloak uh mouse wheel up is just a really really good hot care feel for these it's just really comfortable and it's not like you're going to use it for anything else you don't need to zoom in or zoom out just play it max zoom out otherwise you're a freak but um, yeah heading on to the next part uh 
there's only one other main change here that I would highly recommend. I used to be someone that played with all other units, but recently, about, I'd say, like, a year and a bit ago, I completely removed that, as I found it was th what was actually griefing my Arc Warden. And I always used to be an Arc Warden that could never buy Manta because of it, but this fixed it. And instead of having the all other units, I just made the F2 hotkey that I use as a control group. And why is that? That is because now I can summon my double right, control my double with F2, I can use its Mantas... Use the Mantas right, but I can also just cast on him now. And before I had all other units, so I when I was selecting it, I was selecting everything. And as you can see, it's a bit harder. You, you actually can't like can't cast on that double unless you like have selected it through. So that's another really big one. So how do you set up the uh, F2 control group that isn't select all other units but still have the same thing? Pretty much what you want to do is you want to come into Demo Hero, just create an enemy for Brood is probably a really good example for this. I'm just going to level up to max. Three spells. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an absurd amount of Spidlings, more than I realistically ever will during a game. Probably just play a spawn like two more. All right, we've got enough now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click all of these and I'm just going to click and press Control F2. And now, if they all die, we'll just, uh, we'll just remove everything. Reset it. I'm gonna max. Now, these should all automatically be on F2. Yep. So, you just wanna do that for every hero. On the screen on the right here, I'll be showing you, uh, what I recommend you have on it. 